Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, it has been nearly a year since our last update and we have done so much to the property which you will see here in a little bit um, and we're so happy to be able to put a video out finally because I kind of just left everyone in the dark and didn't show you know the finished product of the house or any of that so I am so, so sorry. Here is the very long and very overdue video. Um, so it's going to be in order from obviously the beginning of when the house was done and what the property looked like prior to what it looks like now. Um, I am whispering because it is very early in the morning, 6 a.m. Um, and I all of my kids are sleeping. Well, almost all of them. My toddler did just wake up, so it's him and I on the couch. But anyway, so here is the house, um, the living room, kitchen area. And this was, I think, a month before it was done. So um, we still had a month. I was almost due. I think it was nine and a half, 37, 38 weeks pregnant. Um, still hoping that the house would be done and praying that we would be in it, but God had other plans for us because week after my due date, our precious little girl, Victoria, she came into this world and we had her. Um, we were still in the RV, unsure of what we were going to do, but thank God for moms because my mom let us live with her for two weeks after we had her, so we brought her home to my mom's house, and we soaked up every little bit of her cuteness, <laughs> and her little brothers were surprisingly very, very excited. They kind of didn't care until I brought her home, and then once I brought her home, they were obsessed with her. Um, so yeah, and then we moved into the house after that, and she was about two weeks old. It was stressful and chaotic, but we got through it, and... Now we are here almost a year later um, and looking forward to the many, many, many things that we will do on the property. Um, the pond, we've been enjoying. The boys love fishing in the pond. My husband, not me, can't take credit for it, but he is doing such a great job clearing the yard. I mean, it is just, it's more work and labor intensive that I, than I really realized. Um, just cleaning around like the bases of the trees, pulling all those vines and those leaves and those little trees that accumulate at the bottom of a tree, all that. I mean, it's just, it's a lot of work. He's done great. But anyway, so here's the house now. It's finished, obviously. Um, and I honestly did not clean it for this video. And I, I wanted to make sure that the house was perfect for such a long time before I put this video out. But I realized that my home is never 100% perfect, but that's okay because we have a busy life and that would be putting on a fake facade of who we are and I don't wanna do that here. So here is what the house looks like 90% of the time, never 100% spot and mess free, um, but I have four children and a busy life and it's not perfect. So. Here it is. We are so happy with how it turned out. Um, we love like doing things to it and seeing it and watching it come together. The homeschool room has been a fun project. I slowly get to do things to that. Um, this is what it currently looks like. Uh, I will, I'll probably change it and do small things here and there. But I just finished painting a lot of the shelves and touching up the walls. Um, because the boys are really hard on the walls, so that's a constant touch-up. But anyway, so ignore the dishes in the sink. Like I said, we live in this house. It is not just a model home. It is our home. Um, so it's very messy a lot of the times. This is where the boys do their schoolwork, and we gather around the table and enjoy each other's company and usually I'm reading to them and then they break away and they sit at their desk. Here's little Brosy doing his schoolwork, coloring his little fishies. So some additions to our property. We have three trees currently, an olive tree and a pear and a lime tree. 
So we are hoping to get more in the future. Um, and this is what the garden looks like now. I mean, you saw... That's Daddy. Yes, that's Daddy. And that's our garden. You saw what it looked like before, and this is what it looks like now. And here is our very first watermelon. It was so, so good. Farm fresh, literally farm to table. It was, it was so good. <laughs> um, Kyle has been teaching the boys a lot on the property. Um, it's pretty cute actually seeing a nine-year-old maneuver the tractor like a grown man. I have to say he's really, really good at it. And thus far, we have been enjoying everything that we're learning living on the property. We have some fun things coming in the near future. Um, we're hoping to get a cow, a couple cows actually. Um, we're gonna do the chickens again. We did lose all of our chickens to a vicious, vicious raccoon. Um, it, was, it was a terrible sight to see, but we are going to try, try, try again. And we are hoping to get them in the new, probably in the next couple months. Um, and then obviously we'll get some cows because we really want to raise our own meat and be able to um, have grass-fed grass fed cows. So we're going to be doing that soon. And yeah, I mean, we've just been loving it out here and learning so much about the property. It's been very fun, hasn't it, bros? Yes, it has. He nodded his head. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, God bless.